Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review of Umbrage by Derek Bailey. This is coming out at the end of the June 30th, if I'm not wrong. I received an art from the author. This is set in a fictional town called Umbrage. We follow a high school student called Kayla who can see visions of people's impending death. She shares that with her friends at school and they decide to help people from their deaths. This is told in a serialized format. Each episode is a different problem with uh, different characters. I mean, we see some common characters. I mean, the setting is school. So we see like uh, different students or different characters in the school or different characters in that small town who is facing the, their impending possibility of their deaths. There is also a common thread in the background which we realize after three, four episodes, which kind of connects most of these deaths. I really like that part. Premise is simple and the book does what exactly it promises. The best part of this book for me is writing. Derek did a fantastic job in making us invested in these events. In the first scene itself, when Kayla goes through a vision of uh, someone close to her dying, we feel the fear she is feeling. We feel that emotion. And when something bad happens, she kind of detaches herself from it and we also get detached from it. We don't feel the full impact of it. I'm not sure if everyone felt the same or maybe because I am an immersive reader, I felt that. But I think Derek did it fantastic job at that. Another thing I liked about this book is the friendship between these kids. The understanding and support between them is heartwarming. Derek stayed away from common tropes that exist in teenager stories. Usually when one kid has superpowers, another kid feels jealous, but we don't see that in this book. Though that other kid doesn't have any superpowers, she doesn't feel bad about it. She just wants to save people just because it's the right thing to do. And Kayla realizes that. She realizes that she is the key to this whole operation of saving people. And she acknowledges that. Another common trope we see is that one girl is confident and another girl is shy. Our characters definitely fit that bill. Kayla is... Uh, little hesitant to approach uh, people because she doesn't want anyone to know about her powers and her friend Emily is uh, more confident she doesn't mind approaching people as long as it saves them she is kind of go-getter so these two definitely fit that bill of one confident girl and one shy girl but that trope is not on our face it's very subtle i really appreciated that and another common trope is this kids obsessed with uh, dating popular kids we do see some popular kids but that was just mentioned this dating thing is just in the background it is not the main focus and i really like that focus was only on saving these people and friendship between them and these kids bond with their uh, parents. It was good to see these healthy bonds for a change. I really appreciated that. I have only one minor issue. Every time Kayla sees a vision, it starts in the same manner. Kayla gets panic and she discusses that with her friend and she decides to wait uh, for more visions to get more clarity to see who that vision belongs to. Once they realize who that vision belongs to and they decide the plan of action, I really enjoyed that. So that beginning of each episode part, I wish there was a little variation to it. But once we cross that three, four episodes, we realize the existence of this common thread and I enjoyed it a lot from there. Since it's told in episodic format, it's easy to read it one or two episodes between other books. So it, so it reads like a palate cleanser between other books. Though there are some bad things happen in this book, maybe because of uh, kids' POVs, it reads like a comfort book. I am not sure if Derek is planning to write more in this world. Maybe once they are in college, if not in the same town. But I hope he writes more. I do want to read more in this world. He do have other books. Void Walker Collection, I think, which is a collection of short stories. And another book, Digitarium, which is about 
about uh, gods creating new world they do sound interesting i am hoping to pick them up soon if you like watching tv shows which involve teenagers a bunch of teenagers bunch of friends solving problems and saving people pick this up it reads in the same tone if you already read this book please let me know your thoughts and comments please like comment and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye